Okay, so um, 21. Consider the relation. And now there are, this is a finite set of points. So you'll have four points. So what are the domains? Negative 1, 1, and 2. So you just have the first components. There's a repeat there. So that's why we just have three listed. And then what about the second components? Well, you've got two. You've got it in there twice. And then a four and a five. Now, how do the mappings work? Well, negative one maps to two. We do put an arrow there to show which direction we're going. So this is your, you know, your input. And this is the output. Now, there's all kinds of ways to label that domain and range and so forth, but you, you kind of have to show which direction you're going. One maps to two. That's the next point, ordered pair. And then one's mapping to four, and then two is mapping to five. If people did this problem, they usually got this right. That's the mapping. So what was the domain? It's the set. This needs to be set notation. Negative one, comma, one, comma, two. If I remember right, look real. Let me have a little peek. Negative one, one, two. Yeah. And then the range, same thing. Set notation. It was two, four, five. Okay. Is this a is the relation a function? No. No, it's got all kinds of problems. Okay. Um. Well, I guess not really. It just has. Let's see which points. It's got the one right there. It's going two different places. That's what makes it not a function. Okay. One's going to two and one's also going to four. All right. Now for the next problem, find each of the following. So we're finding f of negative three. That means the x's get replaced. So f of negative three equals negative two times negative three squared minus negative three plus seven. So working the math using the order of operations, negative 2 times 9, negative 3 squared is 9, plus 3, minus and minus 3, plus 3, plus 7. So that gives us negative 18, plus 3, plus 7, which is negative 18 plus 10, um, and that's going to be negative 8 was the answer there. The next one, same thing. We're finding f of h, so we're going to put h in for the x's. This should have been the easiest problem on the test. Negative 2h squared minus h plus 7. You're done. That was it. Just had to make x's into h's. <laughs> okay. 